Now, now I once heard you say, and I might, I might be misquoting you, but if you see three black dudes in a car on the road, you're going to call the police. They ass up to no good. Why Why do you believe, and I believe you, but why? <laughs> Shit, nigga, you ever been with two other niggas? Yeah. Y'all up to no, we were up to no good, right? Three niggas together, if they ain't on their way to work, now, what I, they doing? Now, I always believed it was two niggas and a white boy. That's what I always. Oh, nigga, there's some sick shit going on, two <laughs> niggas and a white boy. Yeah, yeah, them two niggas fucking over that white boy. <laughs> yeah, if it's two niggas and a white boy, that white boy might be here hostage. And they steal from him. Yeah, one of them fucking his sister, and one of them want to fuck his mama. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 that, yeah, we already know how that combination is. That white boy is a victim. Yeah, two niggas and the white boy, think that, think that's an automatic victim. Yeah, he ain't got no say so with nothing, <laughs> by nothing. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, we got, yeah, yeah, no. Nah. I got it, I got a question. Are you a conspiracy theorist? No, nah, I don't believe shit. So, yeah, I think everybody lives them conspiracy. So what, how would they know? Yeah, yeah how would we, we the poorest motherfuckers on, we the, we, we the lowest motherfuckers in society. Get, get the information last. Yeah, yeah, nigga, we is. All of us that know conspiracy theories, homie, we at the lowest level of the social economic totem pole in the world it is, nigga. How we know any goddamn thing? Uh, man, I, you know, this is me, because I, I, this has always been my theory, and I'm going to, I always tell people, the black man is the, the lowest thing under the totem. It's the totem pole, and then there's the, the, the piece underground that's keeping the totem pole up, that's the black man. Yeah. How do we... Get from up under, that, cause it's like I say it's like the white man, the white woman, the Chinese man, the Chinese woman, the the the, 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 the not nah, real, the, uh, the Mexican man, the Mexican woman, the black woman, dogs and cats. I was just about to, yeah, I was just about to say dogs white, yeah, dogs and cats, and, the, oh. and everything in the air. And, yeah, and then the black man. Yeah, like. And then, you know, I heard you say, like, the term, use the term savages. And I believe that's, like, how we are perceived. How, do, how does the black man's plight, <coughs> that's been my whole thing. Like, how do we beat the black man's plight? Because I don't mean be really worried about no other gender or race, just the black man's plight. Because it seems like ours is the most com the convoluted and the most destructive. Oh, uh, because we keep trying, we need to quit trying to climb the totem pole. We need to we need to be where we go be, right? And uh, we can snatch the bottom from up under them because we at the bottom, right? We are the bottom. Uh, everything is built on our backs. Uh, we are the spars of walls, right? If if China was the if 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 America and China was to have a war, and 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 China beat America, uh. Nigga, we're part of that debt that they would cash in on. Mm. Yeah, we like the resource. Well, give us them niggas. Man, y'all can't have our niggas. Man, y'all can have our economic system. Y'all can have Africa. But man, we ain't giving y'all our niggas. We need these niggas. Especially now. Well, uh, who's going to make our economy turn without them? Who, 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 they need us. Yeah. The largest, yeah. he, he just said that we're the largest consumers on earth, not just in America, on planet earth. Oh yeah. So everybody, when we walk out of our door, everybody got a basket that they're trying to sell us something out of. Chinese, the Arabs, that's why all of their stores are at our doorstep. Oh, yeah. They ain't in nobody else's neighborhoods. We're the spars of war. Hey, y'all, come on over here. Uh, when y'all get here, we're going to give y'all a little money where y'all can open up a store over there. And y'all can sell them whatever. So, our dilemma. It's us at this point in America. So his question is, how do we get out of this dilemma?
Man, y'all saw what Kevin Gates did. But you gotta kill your niggas with kindness. You gotta kill black people with kindness, homie. Our dilemma is us. Fuck the totem pole. Nigga, we here. And we ain't going nowhere from this bottom position. We used to be right up under the white boy on the totem pole, second class citizen. We used to be second class citizens because at one point in time it was just us, the white boy, and the Indian. So now we got all these different ethnicities, homie. Uh, you had Obama let in over half a million Syrians. You got, then they opened up to let the Mexican come in with the with the with the Dreamers Act, the DACA. Uh, now you got all of these quarter million Afghanistans. They didn't open the borders up. You got the Cubans in here. So now when you look at the strip clubs all over, nigga, the Cuban bitches is sliding in on the black holes in the strip club. And you see, you sure what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, some look black, some look Mexican, some look white. But now I'm saying, man, where all these goddamn Cubans coming from, huh? So everybody here and everybody bought their culture. How do we change the dilemma? It's our culture, homie. Huh? Shout out real street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.